was sent this really cool device from Teslong uh, to do a review on. It's a borescope, but not just a normal borescope. This thing has some really cool features on it that allows you to get into some places that you normally couldn't get into. Let's bring it in a little bit closer, get this thing unboxed, go over the basic features, and take it for a test spin. We'll see you here in a little bit. So this is by Teslong, Articulating Borescope. This is the model TD450S. Industrial repair, aircraft inspection, building maintenance, auto care. Screen size is 4.5 inch. Image resolution, 1920 by 1080. The video resolution is 1920 by 1080. Rotational angle, which I'll show you that here in a little bit, is 210 degrees. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Power source, 3000 milliamp lithium poly battery. Memory storage, 32 gigabyte. Let's get this thing unboxed and show you what it's all about. So in the box, there's a nice little container in here that protects the, uh, the borescope. Very, very nice. So let's go ahead and get this unzipped and see what we got. Just a very nice case. It's got a little bit of strength in the top part of it and the bottom part. And then it's got this little cushiony piece for the scope. So in here you've got the scope, the screen, and all of its attachments. Very, very nice. Feels really, really good. So there is the camera and the screen, uh, USB to C for charging and for moving uh, pictures and, and video back and forth to your computer. All your manuals, warranty, all that good stuff. Some cleaning wipes. That's important to clean this, clean this device up uh, before you put it away. So right off the bat, it just, it, it feels really good, right? It just, uh, it feels like it's, well, it's not gonna break in my hand. It's got a little protection screen on there. We'll take that off here in a little bit. Button in the back, a little speaker. Uh, we got an on off switch here. The M, okay, up and down. Uh, looks like we've got settings, brightness, and then plus. And we'll figure out all these details here in a second. But the coolest part to me is this right here. That is just incredible. I mean, how many times did I ever need something like this? All the time. <laughs> Working on small engines and just, you know, some of the things I've worked on, I could have really, really used this. Absolutely incredible. And there's the little camera on that. So you got your LED lighting on it and then the camera and then you can control the brightness of it. You can turn it to the other camera, which is on the side with its LED. So not only can you go this way, but if you needed to get it in a position to where you needed to record or take pictures from the side, that is incredible. This little material here is like a, it's like a braided kind of a mesh. It just feels really, really good. It protects the, the cables in there that uh, turn that back and forth. This piece here is very flexible. And then it's got a like a rubber coating on here to protect it. Very, very nice. Get this thing shaped up to wherever and whatever direction you need it to go in. And you're able to, to get some really good pictures. I'll put it on the charger, let it get charged up, and then I'll come back and we'll go over and show you all the details on this and then go use it. We're gonna go put this thing to use. We'll see you here in a little bit. All right, so round one, let's go ahead and get this cover off of here for now. Let's sit it right over there. Very, very nice little screen. Let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna long press that. And there it is booting up. Hopefully the glare is not on there. And the camera is seeing nothing because we got this little cap on. So let's take this cap off. Looks really, really good right out the gate. The M is for the mode, but right up here, there's a little camera. So there is the camera up in the corner. And then you press the M again, and it goes back to photo. So you can see that little photo right up there in the corner. And, and that's uh, by changing the mode with the M. And there's the record. And then this is where you flip through all the pictures and videos that you took. If you flip that way, that is for the camera. All right. And you just, there's a, the trigger on the back is for taking the picture, right? So we're going to take a picture. Gently hear it there. There we go. We just took that picture and we're going to change the mode and we're going to go into record. Same thing. Just hit the record and it starts recording. You hit M. 
and you go into the menu and you can flip through all the photos and video that you've taken. Oh, there we go. There's the uh, AVI. Then you can hit OK and then it plays it back and then hit OK to stop it. Very, very nice. You can flip through your, your videos, play your videos and flip through your pictures to see if you got the picture that you wanted. So the next feature on the camera is the brightness. You just hit the brightness and it goes dim to bright and then goes down from there and then off. So if you wanted to switch to the side camera, you long press and hold the trigger and then it goes to the side, side camera, right? And then if you wanna control the brightness, same thing, you can flip through and dim it or make it bright. So you long press the trigger and it brings you back to the other camera. So we're back on the other camera. Let's get something to look at here. Let's look at the box right there. So if you want to zoom in, you hit the plus button and it zooms you in. Very, very nice feature. I mean, if you're close enough to something and you can get a picture, but if you need to get a little closer and you can't get any further, then it allows you to zoom in. And then of course, the, the little thumb control for controlling which way you want that camera to go. Very, very cool. And then if you wanted to use the other camera on the side, long press, bring it back. And there's that. Same thing. All right, so let's go through the settings. We're going to hit the little gear looking thing right there. Right off the bat, you have resolution at the top. We're going to hit OK and go into resolution. You can change the resolution from 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. We're going to keep it at 1920. You've got language. Go into language. You can pick your language and hit OK. Temperature as in units. You got Fahrenheit or Celsius. We're going to keep it on Fahrenheit. Date tag. You can turn it on or off depending if you want it labeled, whatever you're recording or taking pictures. We're going to leave it on so we can see it a little bit later. Audio record. It's either on or off. We're going to leave it on. Sound record, same thing, on or off. We're going to leave that on. Go down a little bit more and there's some more settings. We got time. Go into time. So we're at 1224. 2023 and you can change it up or down same way and just hit the OK button to go through all these settings can be changed with this up and down arrow key and then confirm or cancel all right next is the auto power off same thing okay five minutes and ten minutes or just off if you just want to leave it on format if you need to uh, format the card, you confirm, and then it's going to format. Reset system settings. If you've changed something for some reason and it's not doing what you want to do, well, you can come in here and just reset it back. That's a, that's a good feature. Can't count how many times I've changed something, couldn't figure out what I changed, so that, that's good. It's, this is really straightforward. Uh, there's not a lot of things in here that you can really mess up. It's very simple. Storage. Tells you how big your storage is. Uh, this one's 32 gig. Uh, and we've taken some pictures and done some videos. So we're gonna hit okay. And then version. So this tells you, you know, tech support and all that and your version number. And that's it. So we're back to resolution and then hit the gear again to go back. A few more features here. On the side, there's a little rubber gasket right here. Let's pull that off so you can see it. So you pull the little rubber gasket off and right here you have your C port, which is for moving data and charging. And then a little reset button uh, in case you need a complete reset. And then your spot for your uh, memory card. You just push in, pop it out, and you can move it that way if you wanted to. But you can move the data from just hooking up to C and then connecting to your computer. And, and I'll try to show you that here in a second. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug my uh, C connector into the device to go ahead and download those pictures and uh, videos. You can see right now, without it being on, it's only charging. So in order to start the process of downloading and getting it on your computer, you need to turn it on. All right, so there it is, it's connected. It just showed up on my computer and I'm gonna bring you up there and show that to you. So this is the drive that showed up on my computer. I'm gonna double click into it. You can see we got photos and video. There's all the photos that I took, go back, and we're gonna go into video, and then move them to whatever device you need to. And then, of course, the little nice little rubber piece that goes back on there to keep it nice and watertight. Now right here is a mic for recording, so you, you will get sound when you're doing recording. And then on the very back, right there, is uh, the little speaker that you can hear the sound. And then one more thing, uh, right here uh, on the actual scope, do not use the scope over 70 Celsius or 158 Fahrenheit. Pretty much don't put it into a super hot motor, because uh, I'm sure it would go into a meltdown. So what we need to do now is, well, let's go put this thing to test. Let's go look at some old parts and maybe some old motors and just, uh, well, let's go see what it can do. We'll see you here in a minute. All right, I have this old mall chainsaw here. I've got the plug off of it, got the cylinder down. So let's go ahead and take this scope on in there and I'm gonna move on over to video and we're gonna hit record. All right, and it's recording. I don't know if you can see it down there in the bottom. Having a hard time with this camera, there we go. And what I'll do is I'll take this video and bring it up um, and put it up here where you can see it. So we're going to go go on in there. Do the spark plug hole. And you can see right off out towards the valve there. It looks like the exhaust uh, port. Oh, there we go. There it looks like the intake port. That looks really good for the age of this thing. We're going to hold long hold and bring it to the side view. Let's maneuver it into that spot. That looks like a sauce port. And let's zoom in a little. All right, looks good. Let's get some pictures and see what we got. There we go. So there you go. I mean, what an awesome tool to be able to go in and see how far you need to tear down something or what you need to do uh, to fix it. Very, very nice. All right. So there's always been this hole in this wall right here in my shop, and I've never been able to figure this out. Uh, I don't know if it's a bee or something living in there. So let's go in there and see what's going on. So I can see the outside. And let's, uh, okay, that looks normal, I guess. And let's go back to the side a little bit. Oh, uh, what? What in the heck? No. Let me turn the light up. Holy moly! No way. Uh, no, this, that can't be, okay, never mind, let's move on. All right, so, I mean, really good for finding clogs and, you know, just finding something you lost. Like, oh, well, there's my screwdriver. So, overall, this has been a very interesting tool. I mean... It can be used for a lot of different things, from plumbing to electrical to, oh my gosh, uh, just different projects, you know, working on printers and that kind of stuff, uh, and, and especially mechanics. I mean, just being able to look down a cylinder or in behind something where you just need to be able to see it. Very, very cool. Hope that helps, and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one.